don't like this place. You do. I don't. It's stuffy. It's cozy. Pretentious. It has ambition. It's expensive. It is a premium experience. Do not give me the cranky. <sighs> not cranky. Yes, you are. You are cranky because you are not here with Rosie. We had a bet. She was supposed to buy me coffee. Yes, but I told you she had an emergency, so I will buy you coffee and it will be amazing and you're gonna be a good boy. Yes? Fine. Still think it's expensive. What's expensive? The, uh, the expensive looking the, the place. Oh, yes, yes. We got the wood brought in from the Amazon rainforest. Oh. Wait, isn't that a bad thing? What can I get you? Uh, I would like a cappuccino. Uh, I'll have a cafe latte, please. A, a cafe latte? Are you sure you wouldn't prefer a cafe au lait? Oh, a French is very fancy. No, no. Uh, they are two different drinks. A cafe latte is a shot of espresso, then steamed milk, and then 2.3 centimetres of foam. A cafe au lait is from pressed or percolated coffee. Then I'll have a cafe latte. So what you really want is a cafe noisette. We would like two cappuccinos, please. Italian, American or third wave. Dear God, just bring us some coffee. J just some caffeine. Just some caffeine. Like you're a junkie trying to score a hit. Would you like a needle with your coffee? Or perhaps you'd like to snort it straight out of the grind into your nose? Anything will do, won't it? It's just caffeine. Italian style, please. Coming right up. <laughs> Where did you take me? This was top rated on the Google. She probably bullied everyone into giving her five star reviews. She scares me. Don't leave me. Do not worry, we will face her together. Face what? Uh, face <laughs> the, the fact that, that we probably will never get coffee as good as this again. You're right. And you're a brave man to accept it. Excellent. Yes, uh, very good, very good. <laughs> they carried it 1,500 miles down a mountain. Three people died on the expedition. I know their names. Uh, Diego, Gonzalo, Bridget. This coffee made its way halfway across the world. So it can nest itself in my machine and end up in your mouth. People died so that you could feel alive. We've got to get out of here. I need emotional support for my therapy session. Right, but what am I doing here? All right, listen. I've been keeping this a secret from my friends for years, but since I've only known you for a couple of weeks, I guess it's not so bad. But my real friends must never know. Gee, thanks. But what must they never know? I have a smoking problem. What? But you never smoke. What? How did you do that? I'm really good at hiding things. But I thought you were going to work on your alcohol problem. I don't have an alcohol problem. Okay. But with the cigarettes, I have to stop it with the cigarettes. I'm, I'm done hiding things, and this is where you come in. What do you want me to do? I just want you to sit there and hold my hand. I can do that. And Billy, promise me this. Okay. There will come a time where things get emotional, mm -hmm. where I'm going to open up and talk about my feelings. Mm -hmm. And Billy, when that time comes, Mm -hmm. And I hear that later others found out that I was here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stab you and kill you dead. Okay, got it. All right, 
So uh, another name for a five carbon sugar. 2 deoxyribose. Oh, correct. And removing the five prime end phosphate prevent. Ligation. Very good. And the COSAC sequence has the general consensus. GCC. Yes. RCC. Yes. A. Yes. U. Almost there. Fuck. I'm afraid that is incorrect. It's impossible. There's no way I'm ever going to learn this. The exam is today. Well, what do you still need to cover? This. <coughs> there is no way you need to study all of that. Well, possibly not, but when I get going, I just can't stop. What do you mean? I learn it line by line, page by page, and it lodges in my brain, and my brain fills up, and no more information in my brain today. What if I could help? <laughs> you think you could help me? Well, I did have a 9.8 on my last exam. At this point, I will settle for anything to get me out of this. Great. Well, to study like Jackson, you need to think like Jackson. Why do you say it in that way? In what way? The third person. Oh, that's because of something my father used to say. What did your father used to say? To study like Jackson, you need to think like Jackson. Let's get started. And I really needed the money. Right. So then I stabbed all three of them and ran away. You're so right. What am I right about, George? What? Oh, uh, everything. Malaka de Yeah, what? You're not listening to me. <sighs> Sorry, that, it's just that that coffee lady is thoroughly creeping me out. Yeah, she's creepy. Okay, we will leave and go to a normal place and talk like normal people. Okay? Splendid. <clears throat> Um, I don't have my wallet with me. What? Okay, I'm a human being. I make mistakes. You pay now, I give you the money later. I don't have my wallet with me. You don't have your wallet with you. You, you promised to pay. And I promised Yorgos that I will marry him, George, but circumstances change. Oh, God, she'll be furious. What are we going to do? Stay calm. Who will explain? Stay calm? Did you not hear the story she told about how she once poured boiling hot coffee over a guy who mispronounced macchiato? What would you have me do? Lie! No, I do not lie! Well, I lie all the time! It works really, really well! How are you going to lie about having money when you do not have money? I do that all the time too! We will explain and we will be back with the money. Back with what money? Back, back, back with more money to spend on all this delicious coffee next time. Back next time. Ooh, leaving so soon? Yes. No. Yes. No! We'd like more, please. What can I get you? Why don't you decide? Ooh, a, uh, a café de soie with genuine café theme. Oh, that sounds delicious and foreign. Yes, please. <laughs> what did you just do? I panicked and postponed the problem. Why? Because that is my number one reflex in life. Now we owe twice as much money and we have nothing. That's not true. We have time. Time to think. Time to plan. Plan what? Our escape from the coffee match. You and I did not get this far for it to end like this. We will taste freedom again. Freedom with a slightly smoky aftertaste. You're getting really intense. Oh God, it's this place. It's getting to me. So your name is Rosie and, and this is? Billy. He's my emotional support. Ah, oh, okay. And why did you reach out today? I smoke. Okay, I see. You smoke. I assume you've tried all the pharmaceuticals. I've tried everything. I've tried going cold turkey. I've tried nicotine patches. I've tried lots of alcohol. Alcohol? Yeah, I figured that if I get really drunk, I would forget about smoking. I didn't. And so why are you here today? I think it's psychological. I'm stressed all the time, Doc. I'm not a doctor. Oh, you're, you're not? I am a licensed therapist, but I have no medical degree or PhD. Is that something you ever considered? Yes, but you know, 
life happens. Things get in the way. Marriages, children. Then marriages fall apart. And so do the children. Your children fell apart? Emotionally. There was no stability left in life, and I couldn't provide it. But you're a doctor. Not a doctor. But yes, I am a professional. Couldn't take care of his own children. That's terrible. It's okay. I mean, I get to help people here in this controlled environment, in a, in a, in a safe space. Oh, yeah, I feel very safe. Yeah, do you really feel safe? I feel safe. Good, that's good. I like to create an environment where people can be themselves. And where I can put my problems to the side and focus on others. And Let's talk about me. Of course. So, when did you last smoke? Right outside your office. It's a beautiful office. Thank you. I've worked really hard on making this nice. In fact, I think maybe it's the only thing I ever really worked hard at making nice. Oh God. If there's ever the emptiness outside, at the end of a day, when I lie awake in bed at night, at least at least I know there is tomorrow where I can listen to other people's problems to keep my own darkness at bay. But I have to admit, it does get lonely sometimes. All right, to help you focus on the right things, I am going to use a metaphor. Are these the same women? This is Jessica and Deborah. They're okay. sisters. Okay. I slept with both of them, and neither of them knew about the other, so in order to keep them from finding out, I had to use my powers of observation. You slept with both of them without telling either of them? Well, it didn't seem fair to tell only one. And this seems normal to you? Normal, no, but interesting. Okay. Anyway, Jessica purses her lips slightly when she's angry, whereas Deborah, her eye twitches a bit. Right. So you see, in order to determine who they were, I would have to make them angry. Yes. And I quickly found out that the easiest way to make them angry was to tell them I didn't know who they were. Uh -huh. So then they would get angry, and I would know who they were. And this helps me how? Well, you see, Jessica has slightly darker hair than Deborah. You see, I was so caught up on making them angry that I didn't pay attention to what was right in front of me. So you're saying by losing myself in the details of my exam, I'm not paying attention to the more obvious memory aids that could be available. Yes, but also I'm saying that you can look different and still be attractive. What's that? It's a practice paper the professor gave us. Nice. I've been paying so much attention to the questions, I haven't actually checked the answers. It's multiple choice. Oh, I love multiple choice. Really? As a learning tool, I find it limiting and confusing. Not me. My whole life is multiple choice. That actually makes sense. Anyway, look at the answers. A, B, D, A, D, B, A, A B, D. D. You see? <laughs> yeah, he hates the letter C. But more importantly, it completes its way all the way to the bottom. Ah, nice. Well, you've got your answers to the exam then. He's not going to do this in the actual exam. Well, that depends on whether or not he's aware that he's doing it. That is actually true. You sound surprised. It's just that you swing so wildly between 
nonsense and genius. But nothing in between. Multiple choice. One pistachio oh. rose latte and one oregano peppermint affogato. <laughs> <laughs> What is he gonna I'm still thinking. You were thinking six coffees. I'll figure it out by seven. Seven, seven. Who drinks seven coffees in a row? Lots of people. But not within one hour, George. Oh, Ella. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Oh, I know, I know. We pretend we're critics. Eh? Think about it. You're right. Nobody who's normal drinks seven cups of coffee in one hour. But if we're critics sent here to review the place, that is immoral and manipulative. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. I think the coffee is making me evil. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to tell her we're critics without telling her we're critics. Why? Because critics never say they're critics. Because that would influence the review of the critics. Yes. So if we want to pretend to be critics, we shouldn't say we are critics. Right. But we still want her to be influenced to know that we are critics. Critics. Yes. So we need to have a plan. Something. Sp oh, I know. How about you look snobbish? Perfect. I did not change my face. Miss. Excuse me. Miss. Oh, yes. Uh, hey. You. you um, done something very mm. interesting with this pistachio rose latte. Yeah, yes, very, very interesting. Not just with this one. Mm. Yes, uh, it's it's different from any pistachio ro rose latte I've ever tasted before. What is it? Oh, how observant! Mm. It's a Kyoto style. I learned it at Cafe Demitas. <gasps> the Cafe Demitas? None other. The trick is to take it slow. Mm. Most people tend to rush things. Mm -hmm. yeah, people rush all sorts of things. Traffic, relationships, beans. Mm. Good for you for taking it slow. How do you know so much about coffee? Well, I, my colleague and I, I should say my friend and I have been to many places, but, but yours really takes the cake. Really? Mm. What is it that makes it so special? Uh, the, the, oh, the, the large variety of roasts. Yes, uh, dark and fruity. Textured, smooth, pungent, uh, sharp, uh, fresh and rested. Rested? You know about rested roast? That's a thing. That's a thing. Yes, of course. I just, uh, I always dreamt about meeting a man who knew about rested roasts and, well, to meet him here in my cafe, it's breathtaking. Uh-huh. Tell you what. So, uh, the next one is on the house. Huh. I'll make it extra rested. And then... <laughs> she told me... She never, she never loved me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is a terrible thing for a mother to say. <laughs> Would you excuse us for a moment? <laughs> I'm running out of cigarettes. Why don't we just say the session ended? The session ended 30 minutes ago. Wait, so are you paying for his time or is he paying for your time? That's a really good question, to which I'll figure out the answer later. We can't leave him like this. He's used to being abandoned. He said so himself. Oh, oh, oh. What, what, what? I'm having a breakthrough. It'll require a sacrifice. Okay, who sacrifice? <coughs> My sacrifice, okay. What do we need to do? What do you think? Mmm, aromatic. Mmm, it's that moment it comes in contact with your lips first. That bitterness enters your mouth and then sweetness follows. Oh, I'm being inappropriate. No, no not at all. It's, it's, it's always good to... Meet someone who loves what you love. It's just too bad that we need to go. We do? We do! Uh, yes, well, we'll be sure to write a good review at that. Oh, did I just say that out loud? 
Oh, it's, it's okay. I, I knew you were reviewers from the moment you walked in. You did? Oh, yes. Especially you. Sophisticated. Refined. Oh, you smell like espresso taste. <laughs> yes, <laughs> good one. <laughs> it's just... Hmm? Yes? If you were reviewers, then um, why didn't you know about the Café au lait? That was a test. Quite, yes, and you passed. Oh, good, good. Uh, can I get you a Mazagran? Oh, we would love a Mazagran. Oh, yeah? What, what do you like about it? Oh, just the taste. It's not too milky, is it? Not at all. Oh, good. You know, I, I, I think not because, um, well, there is no milk in it. You lied to me. Fine, fine. We're not reviewers. We just wanted to get out without paying. You were trying to get my coffee for free? Not like that. I just forgot my wallet. Yes, and I didn't have my wallet because she was supposed to pay. Oh, well, that is progressive and I respect that. But how dare you lie to me? Well, I didn't know you'd get so involved. You lied to me about coffee? Do you even know what a rested roast is? No, but I'm amazed that worked. And, and now you owe me money. What are you going to do about that? I mean, we're going to go home and bring the money back. Oh, yeah. And I'm just going to trust you to do that, like I trusted you before. We can work for you. Doing what? We can help you serve the coffee. Over my dead body, your filthy hands don't even deserve to touch the grinder. Okay, enough is enough! Enough is enough! Why are you so intense? What is wrong with you? I mean, yes, coffee is nice, but so is ice cream and cake and cookies. And all you talk about is coffee, 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 coffee. And you fall in love with George because he lies to you about coffee and that sexually excites you. I mean, okay, yes, we lie to you, but we lie to you because you're scary. And you're scary because you're obsessed. We're gonna go home, we're gonna bring the money, we're gonna bring it back to you, and we are never gonna return here. And if you do, I'll, I'll burn the place to the ground. That seems counterproductive. It's your place. Um, you do it. Yeah. George! Oh. For the, the briefest moments, you were the Kopi Susu of my soul. I think it worked. How do we know? <coughs> we just have to do it and see what happens. All right, Max. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. And you're gonna have fun? Yeah. You're gonna be a good boy, aren't you, Max? Yeah. You're a really good boy. We're gonna go now. Bye. Well, that was interesting. I feel a little guilty about giving him a new addiction. Oh no, don't. That's a great game. He's gonna have a great time. I'll get you a new phone. No need. You got two phones? Yep. You know what I realized when I gave him all my cigarettes? That he needed them more than you did? And that cured your depression? No, that I actually don't like the smell of cigarettes at all. From now on, it's just mimosas. That sounds healthy. Thanks for the emotional support, Billy. Huh? I said thanks for the support. Ah, me too. You were right. It was the exact same order. I got a perfect score. That's amazing. That's not amazing. I didn't understand anything. But you passed. But I cheated. But you didn't break any of the rules. But I cheated myself, Jackson. I'm supposed to be preparing for life, and to do that, I need actual knowledge. And I need to know that I got there the right way, even if it was the hard way. So from now on, no more shortcuts. I respect that. Thank you. You're a good person. Thank you. Let's go back in there and tell them. Absolutely not. Ooh. I can feel my legs again. He's finally wearing off. Bravo, I think I have enough in my system for the rest of the week. She was intense. But maybe everything happened for the best, because now she will learn to put things into perspective. Maybe. Maybe not. 
Let's go somewhere else next time. Agreed. They're incredibly high. It's a small town. What are you doing? Exam. Helping with an exam. Helping a friend? Help Rosie help a friend? How about you guys? A woman fell in love with George and then she set her shop on fire. Huh. Drinks? Drinks? Drinks. Drinks. Yeah.